All right, what's up guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a new app called Dropshipping Copilot that is going to use AI to help you find products to sell as well as help automate some of the other aspects of dropshipping with your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. So in order to actually install the app, you'll just have to search for Dropshipping Copilot here on the Shopify app store or you can click the first link in the description and it will bring you to this page right here. So one important thing to note is that this app actually has a free plan, as we can see right here. And the free plan is actually going to be the one that we're using in this video. So once you add the app to your store, you're just gonna have to go ahead and enter your email to create an account with Dropshipping Copilot, and then you'll be brought to this dashboard right here. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through every aspect of the app really quickly. But before we get into actually using the app, there's one thing that we need to set up really quickly. So if we come down here to settings and then we click on sourcing accounts right here, we can see that we need to link an AliExpress account. And this is so that way Dropshipping Copilot will be connected to our AliExpress account. So we, we can fulfill orders and everything through here. So we're gonna just click on link AliExpress account. And if you're already logged into an AliExpress account, which I am right here, then you'll be able to just immediately authorize. And if you're not, you can just enter your login information right here and click I agree. And then you just need to click on authorize. And that's it. You are successfully linked. So the first section we have here is find suppliers. And we can go ahead and see that right now, by default, we're looking to ship to the United States. So you would choose whatever country you're shipping to right here. And then we have some different filters that we can choose. So we can choose whether we want it to ship from the United States, China, Turkey, etc. We can choose through different categories, sort by price, free shipping, 15 day delivery, etc. Or we can use the AI search function down here to search for different products. And you can pretty much put anything in here you want. So you can search for like a particular product like you would on AliExpress. So say something like men's t-shirt, or you can search something a bit more generalized like this. So I have a men's skincare store and I'm looking to, for new products to add to my catalog. So I can go ahead and search for this and it's going to try and find us a bunch of different products that we can add to our store here. So we can see that it's going to be giving us a couple of different categories here. So we have facial cleansers showing up, moisturizers, we have anti-aging skincare, we have shaving, products here we have grooming products we have skincare gift sets acne treatment etc so this is helpful because it's going to pretty much give you a bunch of different categories based off your search and then you can dig in to these individual categories to choose which products you want to actually offer so in this demo store here i pretty much already have like moisturizing products in here so in this case i would dive into a category that we don't have yet so that could be like grooming tools for example so i could open this up and then we could browse through these different products here and we could change the filters if we wanted to as well. So I could see if any of these actually ship from the US in this category here. And we can see that now we have these products here that ship from the US. And whenever we have products that we wanna actually edit to later add to our store, we just have to go ahead and click on it right here. So let's say we want to add this beard trimmer to our store. I could just click this checkbox right here click on add to our import list and we will take a look at that here in a second. So that's pretty much how you can use the AI search function. You can type in literally anything you want and it's going to narrow down your product search for you. So the next thing we're going to take a look at here is the image search. So this actually lets us search for similar products or the same product on AliExpress by entering either an AliExpress product URL or by uploading an image. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image. So I'm gonna upload an image of this blue hoodie here and you can choose to crop it how you want. So if it was an image with multiple products, you could crop to show the one that you want. And then we're gonna click on search. And what it's gonna do is it's going to pull up similar products here from AliExpress to the image we have right here. And we can see that now we have a bunch of similar products to this image showing up here. So we have a bunch of different hoodie products. You can search with AI prompts or you can search with images. So there's a lot of different ways you can search for different products. So if you have a product that you like and you're trying to sell something similar, you can just upload an image of it here and see if you can find it that way. The next thing we can do is take a look at our import list. And this is where we can actually take these products and push them over to our store. But before we push a product to our store, we're going to want to edit it a little bit here. So we're going to go ahead and open up this product here and edit it by clicking on this pencil icon right here. 
and we can see that we have the product itself showing up. And right now, if it had multiple variants, the different variants would be showing here, but this product only has one. We can see the cost right here, and then we have the selling price right here. So we could adjust the selling price. Let's say we just like two exit, for example, roughly to $39.99. And the stock is set to automatically match the stock on AliExpress currently. And you can always change the selling price in Shopify later on if you want. And then if we jump over here to the actual product tab now, we can see that we can change the title and the description right here. So the first thing we can do is edit the title here. So we can see that it has like the brand name in here that you probably want to remove. But what you can also do is click on one click optimization here and you can actually have the AI tool go ahead and generate you a product title here. So in this case, we have the keywords here. So in this example, we're just we'll say that this product is a beard trimmer. So we'll put in the main keyword right here, and then we can search for recommended keywords that are going to show up right here. And then we can see different keywords showing up here, like professional beard trimmer, electric beard trimmer, etc. So we could select a couple of them right here. In this case, I would just select a couple of the generic ones and it's recommended you select four keywords or less in this case i'm just going to select two and you can enter the word limit here i'll keep the word limit shorter because i prefer shorter titles and you can choose a tone here so we can have different types of tones i'll just stick with professional and we can click on create and then it's going to generate us a title and then you can see it's going to give us some ai generated titles here that you can choose from so if you like one of these titles you would just have to click and use on the product details page and it would update it for us and now if we go back, we can see that we have the AI updated title here. And next we can edit the description with the AI optimization as well. So if I open this up here, we can type in the same keywords that we had before. So we can go with like beard trimmer and search for that again. And then we can add in some keywords once again. We want to rank for, so in this case, I'll add these three keywords. We'll keep it as professional. And then we can see here that we can choose if we want to have a description with paragraphs and then enter a title for each paragraph. So if I turn these paragraphs on, we can see that we'll have a paragraph for specifications, features, charging, grooming tools. So I could change this, for example. So if I got rid of this and I added one and titled it, say what's included, for example, we could go ahead and click to generate and it's going to generate us a description based on these keywords and the paragraphs that we have set. So now we can take a look at the description that was generated right here. So we have the professional trimmer here with the specifications, the features, the charging, and what's included. So we have our four paragraphs showing up right here, and we have a bunch of the other images that are now showing up in the description right here as well. So if we like this description, we could use it, or if we wanted to have a different one, we could regenerate it right here. So in this case, I'll just click on use, and now we can go back and we can see that our description has been set up as well. And what I do is since these specifications, we already have that down here, I would actually just clear these out and I'd keep this blank. And whether or not you wanna include all of these images is going to be personal preference, or maybe you want to set these images up on your Shopify page in a different way, that's going to be up to you. In this case, I'll just leave them in there. And then lastly, we have the product images themselves right here. So one thing that is convenient with this app is it will automatically remove watermarks from these product images here. So we can see that this one image right here has this watermark, so we could go ahead and remove it if we wanted to. So if I click on one click optimization here, and we select AI remove watermark. What it's gonna do is it's going to remove this brand in here from this image. As we can see, most of the watermark was removed up here and if it misses a little spot, we can click on the brush right here and just highlight over it and then click on remove and it will get rid of that last bit. We can see that now that's gone. And let's say the watermark was actually in all four of these, which fortunately the watermark isn't on any of these other photos. But if it was on these other photos, you could use bash removal here to go ahead and remove the watermarks from all of the images right here as well. And once that's set up, we can click use on product details page. And now we can go back. So at this point, we've edited all of our product details. So now we can just come down here to save. And now that this product has been saved, we can select it right here and we can push this over to our store. And then we can choose our preferences right here. So we can publish this to Shopify's backend, which is going to show up right here on products, or we can choose to immediately have it show up in our online store, which in this case we'll select. 
and then we can set pricing rules if we want so let's say we wanted to mark this up by 2x or you can set custom pricing or you can follow the price on the product detail editing page which we already set earlier so i'm going to do that and i'm going to just click on confirm and it's going to push this over to our store so now we can see that our product was pushed to shopify so if i click on my products here we can see that now we can see all the products that we have that we have imported and pushed over to our store and if i come over to the store here we can see that this product has just now loaded in and if we open it up we can see that we have the title and the description that was generated for us and we have the image with the removed watermark here etc so the next thing that you can do with the app is the order fulfillment. You can come in here and you can take a look at all of your different orders. So we have pending, awaiting order, awaiting payment, awaiting shipment, in transit, finished. You can keep track of all of your orders in here and you can sort through different time frames. So right now I created a demo order so you can see what it looks like. So we have a waiting order right here and we can see the product. We can click to see the supplier info, etc. And if you wanted to fulfill these orders, you could either select all to place multiple orders at once. In this case, there's only one, of course. And then you just click on place order to AliExpress. And then you would just need to click on confirm once we confirm the shipping method right here. Since this is a demo order, I'm not actually going to go through with this, but all you'd have to do is click on confirm and you would be good to go. So the last thing I want to quickly cover in this video is the plans. So if we come down here to upgrade plan, we can see, like I mentioned before, that we have been using the free plan and you can continuously use this free plan for up to 20 products. And you can see the rest of the limitations right here. And then you can see that they have a paid plan here for $12.90 a month with a seven day free trial. So if you're looking for some of these extra benefits, you can upgrade to the paid plan. So that's pretty much all you need to know with the Dropshipping Copilot app. It's easy to use and will save you a lot of time with product research, product editing, and product fulfillment. So be sure to check it out by clicking the first link in the description down below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.